What is up guys, Mr. Nacho here with another Jersey Review. Today we got the Boston Red Sox. And I know what you're thinking, Mr. Nacho, you're a Dodger fan. Why do you have a Red Sox jersey after they just beat the Dodgers in five games in the World Series? Look guys, on that same East Coast trip where I bought the Mets and the Yankees jersey, I bought the Red Sox jersey. Okay, I just remembered it was 2011 because Jacoby Ellsbury had a 32 home run season. That was the only time he ever hit more than 30. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it's a large... Again, Majestic will no longer make MLB jerseys in the next few years. And this is a replica. Alright guys, I'm going to be honest. I am not an East Coast person. I hate the East Coast. It's all in me. But if you force me to pick a team out of any of the sports, i got to pick the Red Sox, man. Just because they hate the Yankees as much as I do. But yeah, look at this stitching. That's some loose stitching. But look, look at this, man. It's one of the, I think... Three or four iconic teams that will not change, that have not changed, you know. And I, and I don't like red, you know. Red ain't my color, but just, this looks pretty, you know. Just take a moment to, to just, ooh, so pretty. Anyways, the baseball fans, oh, you know I had to get them. Big Poppy, David Ortiz. My God, guys. Such a feared power hitter this dude was. Uh, if you guys don't know, okay, one, you can, okay. Even though this is a replica, you know, he, there's no name on the back. So, sort of authentic. Anyway, 34 Big Poppy. His number is actually retired now, even before he got into the hall. And I, and I know Poppy's going to get into the hall. Yeah, and I think you guys know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's always like some type of dirt on my jersey, even though I try to keep it clean. But anyway, David freaking Ortiz, a two, what, 280, 290 career hitter, 550 home runs, nearly 2,000 career RBIs. Guys, he almost has the record, like the Boston Red Sox home run record. I think he's what? Had he not retired, he was like a good thirty, like another season or two away from being the all-time home run record, uh, home run leader for the Boston Red Sox. But yeah, and now he's um Fox Sports MLB analysis. He is funny, you guys giving a rod shit, and I love it. God, and you want to talk about left-handed swings, as I was mentioning earlier. Look at his. His is just brute force. Spanks it like over 420 to 450 feet. But yeah. But besides his career stats, what, me, what people don't know is that he started out his career as a Minnesota twin. And I think he hit like 20 to 30-ish home runs. Oh, I can't remember, guys. I can't remember. Like, I'm a baseball dude, but I don't remember all the stats, unfortunately. But yeah, and then he signed Bo with Boston in 03, and then in 04, we all know the Boston Red Sox finally won the World Series for the first time in 84, 86 years, if I remember correctly, <laughs> and they won again in 2007 in a four-game sweep of the Rockies, I remember watching that one, then they won again in 2013 in six games against St. Louis, I remember one of those games ended in obstruction, and I was like, huh? Okay, and then, of course, obviously, 2018 with the Dodgers. Look, I'm going to tell you guys something. The 2018 World Series, I knew the Dodgers were going to lose. Yes, that is my team, you know, but I knew we were going to lose, you know. Was I happy we're in our second consecutive World Series? Yeah, but I just knew we were going to lose. I knew the second I saw the Red Sox make it in first, I'm like, oh, we're fucked. And, you know, we we lost four games to one, you know, I kind of figured, but I'm not mad about it. I'm, I'm more upset about the 2017 one, but that's, ooh, that's a story for a whole other video. Many of you guys, has been the David Ortiz review jersey. I may have rambled a little bit too much on this one, but yeah, the, the second, one of the best Red Sox players of all time. I'm glad they retired his number. I can't wait till he gets in the Hall of Fame. He's probably going to get like 88%, just because. Or, you never know, he could be one of the next unanimous Hall of Famers. Oh, well. Anyway, Mr. Nacho, signing out.